the 90s, you were in a Michael Jackson music video. How did that happen? Oh, man. <laughs> you know, I was the biggest Jackson 5 than Michael Jackson fan. So I get a call. Magic. <laughs> I did not see the voice coming. I want to talk to you. So I hung the phone. <laughs> you hung up? No, no, I hung up. So the phone rang two minutes later. This is funny. <laughs> Magic, this is Michael Jackson. <laughs> I said, this is not Michael Jackson. So I hung the phone up again. So I knew Jackie Jackson very well, his uh -huh. brother. So his brother called me and said, Magic, that was really Michael calling you. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Please, how I did, call him back. How did you get him back on the phone? So I got back, and I'm apologizing for an hour. I am so sorry. <laughs> I thought somebody was playing a joke on me, right? So he says, I'm doing this video. <laughs> and I want to do one with the two MJs. One with you and one with Michael Jordan. Can you come to my house tonight? Can I come to your house? <laughs> Man, what time you want me there? <laughs> So I came in beautiful home, and we had this long table. Mm. So I'm sitting down here, he's down at that end, and the people come out serving the food. So I ordered some chicken, grilled chicken, and you know vegetables, because I'm, try I'm, I'm trying to think he's eating healthy, so I'm going to eat healthy too. <laughs> I don't want to let my hero down. So the guy raised the lid, bam. Other person comes out. What well, is? Raise the lid, and it's a bucket of Kentucky Fried Stop Chicken. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> I start screaming, <laughs> Michael, you eat Kentucky Fried Chicken? <laughs> Man, I said, hold up, I gotta come down there and share that bucket. Uh, oh. We went down. I went down there. We sat on the floor and tore that chicken. You tore it up. up. <laughs> That's a true. This is a true story. I believe it. A true story. <laughs> Next day was the video. Uh -huh. Ladies and gentlemen, I've never seen a guy that can dance like this young man right. for hours mm. and sing and perform like he could perform. I went on three tours with them. There's nobody that's ever been on this earth that could do what Michael Jackson could that's do. That's right. Nobody, nobody. That gave me nobody. chills. I mean, oh my goodness! He he was such a person of perfection. Mm -hmm. Everything had to be right. He rehearsed the band himself and could point out when you off. He heard it and told, no, no, no. <laughs> this boy. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. The guitar man. You gotta play it like this. I'm sitting there like, wow. He could sound like a trumpet or a horn. Whatever he needed at that time for you to play the song the way the album sounded. Mm. He was big on that. Very Every precise. song had to be just like the album, just like they performed it on that album. That man was something else. Wow. And we miss him and yes. I love him. That's my guy. We do. I got to ask about one more because it's just great after great after great after great. And then Prince. He called and wanted to do a, a pajama party in one of your theaters. Yes. How did that happen? So I own the Magic Johnson Theater, so I get a call. I also, <laughs> mm, thank you, thank you. I went on tour with Prince too. Isaiah Thomas and I were big Prince fans. Mm. We follow Prince around. <laughs> I love music. Uh, yes. So I get a call and Prince I said, what's up Prince? He said, uh, Magic. I want to rent out your theater. I said, you don't have to rent out my theater. I'll give you the theater. No, 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 no. I want to come in, though, at 1 in the morning. That sounds like Prince all day. Yeah, 1 in the morning. <laughs> and I want to bring a busload of people, but we're going to have pajamas on. Is that OK? I said, yeah, it's OK. <laughs> I said, let me talk to my manager, make sure he understands what's about to happen. Yeah. And make sure I got some staff on to take care of you and your, your team of people. So I said, let me get up. I went to sleep and got back up at 12 to go. Did you go? Make sure, oh, I had to make sure he was okay. Uh -huh. So here come the buses. People came in. 
And I tell you something, they were like little kids, laughing at every <laughs> joke, everything that happened, wearing pajamas. I mean, just what he said mm -hmm. would happen, happen. And that was one of the biggest thrills, too, to have Prince yes. in the hood. Wow. At my theater. Come on. With his team of people. That was wonderful. You know, just <clears throat> it showed you how important those theaters were to the community. Right. Then Michael Jackson mm. had his thriller came out. Mm -hmm. And guess where he had a premiere? Where? At my theater. Come on. Yeah, at my theater. In the Look hood. God. So it was really touching to have all these celebrities and Michael Jackson right in South Central L.A., and uh, it made the people in the community feel good about yes. themselves and about the community. So that's, that's what it's all about. It's all about. And also giving respect and homage to those who are successful, like yourself. Thank you. So thank you again. We are so grateful for you. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.